Hello, everyone, and welcome back to... Oops. <laughs> that was the wrong spell. Whoopsie-daisy. All right, let's try that again. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to... Team Rustic. Got it that time, yes. So that's a lot easier. It's kind of easy to get up there now. Little way for us to kind of move around, you know, relatively quick. I like it, but last episode, we did some work in Ars Nouveau. We crafted up some glyphs and... Made some spells that we have here that we can create and use. Uh, still learning a few things. I feel like there's a couple couple things here we can kind of mess around with. We do have initial break. We have harm. Uh, we've used this one. We have not used break yet, but I'm assuming this one actually worked very well. And in fact, let's actually try something real quick. We're not going to be doing really anything with Ars Nouveau today. Uh, except for really this, but I really wanted to try this real fast. So let me actually create the spell. So let's do amplify, break, and then we're going to hit create. And this is going to be set up on number four for the moment. I want to just see something. I think amplify works on this. No, not that way. Okay, well, maybe, maybe this? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> worth a shot. So, something to mess around with a little bit later on. Really interesting mod. I want to mess around with it some more for sure. Really enjoying it. Uh, but today we need to take a little bit of a detour. We need to move forward a little bit and kind of mess around with a few other things that need to be addressed. So, let's jump right into that. Now, first things first, I think we need to jump into a little bit of immersive engineering and the reason for this is because it has a lot of very useful resources for us here and one of them being power and generation power power generation you know, whatever <laughs> power and generators uh we have a lot of other wonderful machines but we'll have to get started with that so i think the first thing that we're going to need to make which i believe is in the book as well is a coke oven now if you've been watching my channel for a long time you probably know exactly how this is going to go. It's pretty, pretty simple and fairly straightforward. So if you don't know, then, well, here you go. You get to find out and see firsthand. Now, I think we already got a little bit of sandstone, which is good. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, sandstone. So we need how many of these? 27. So that means we need um, nine crafts of this. So we'll need like four more of these. I don't like wasting sand on sandstone because it's relatively unimportant. And there we go. We got ourselves some Coke bricks. Uh, next thing is unfortunately a blast furnace. And that is going to take a little bit more work, unfortunately, and a little bit more pain because that is going to require us having to go to the nether. And that is quite unfortunate. But it is what it is. So here we go. Let's go ahead and set this guy up. Actually, let me double check. I think the uh, book here. So we did do a quest the last episode where we got this. Ring of Potential. What the heck does that do? Uses? Ooh. Ring of Lesser Discount. I can almost do that. I'm assuming that helps us... With mana cost? Well, that's interesting. I'm totally down for that. Claim reward. Oily things. <laughs> Very nice. We also got some reward bags we can open up. Bridges. Okay. And some food. And another singular vector plate. Man, I love, I love those. They're so good. I love reward bags. I'm totally not addicted at all. So there you go. We just place it in a 3x3x3 three by three by three, as I did there. Right click it with your hammer and boom. There you have it. You have yourself a Coke oven. Very simple, very straightforward. And you can put in anything. Well, actually I say anything, but you can put it uh, any type of wood. And by wood I mean logs, not planks, and or uh, coal. So... Um, if you put in wood logs, you'll get charcoal, but if you put in coal, you'll get coal coke, which is what's going to be needed in the future for making steel. 
So we're gonna go ahead and get some of this going. Now, if you wanna better this up even more to make things a little bit simpler on you, you can always just turn that into a block of coal and it might go a little bit faster. I think it does go a little bit faster, but it does kind of mess up the internal thing. So if you have a way to export those, probably shouldn't have put that in there, dang it. Uh, if you have a way to export those fluids, it'll be a little bit easier on you in that sense. So might be worth looking into doing that way, but let's go ahead and uh, clean up our inventory. So we got that step out of the way. Um, you know what, I'll leave the burrito on me. I might just try to eat that. I, I never really need this. It's getting so much just random junk. And we need to deal with this storage situation that we have this problem, I guess, if you will. We need to get this kind of resolved and situated a little bit. All right, so next thing's up. We do want to get a blast furnace. We really need to get some steel up and running. And to make this, we will need... Oh, this used to be... This used to be a blaze rod. Did they change it to magma blocks now? Oh, well, that's not bad. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of nether brick. Um, I think we have plenty of regular brick still. I think. If not, let's just go ahead and cook up a stack just to be certain. I think we have plenty of coal ready to go. Um, yeah, we just need magma blocks, huh? Do we have any magma blocks? We have six. This makes how many? Three? Dang, we only need a few more. Well, it looks like we're going to have to make our way to the nether real fast, which I think if we have some of those, we probably ran into some. So let's make that quick trip over to the... Oops. To the nether real quick. If I can hit the right keys, I'm going to hit this. And so we can just kind of zoom over to our portal real quick. It's a little bit faster that way. The slow fall definitely helps. <laughs> So we don't have to worry too much about dying so quickly. So we only need a few pieces. We got to be very careful here. Hold shift. Because things are bad and kind. And I think we have a little area. Oh, it's right there. Really need to replace this frost, that frost magma. Is that what they named that? Okay, then. We need to, uh, <laughs> we need to fix this place up a little bit. We got really, I don't know if I want to say unlucky, but it feels like this area that we're in, starting in this frost stuff, eh, is not the greatest in the world. Uh, but let's make our way down here. So we can find magma blocks, generally by lava, right? So if we, that was freaky. So if we kind of come around here, we can see there's magma blocks right there. We do have a magnet on, so that will generally help us out a bit. And another reason, I always leave a little bit of cobblestone in my bag. That reason right there. So we're going to grab a few extra, so that way we don't have to worry too much. And we might actually utilize this a little bit here in the future as well for some other things. So we might as well just go ahead and grab a good chunk of this stuff that we can. Here. Looks like there's a pretty big vein, I guess, of magma block. Is it, would you call it a vein of magma blocks? It's not really an ore, but there we go. About a stack and a half. That should do us for a while. I don't imagine we really need that much. Uh, hello? These little guys in here are really irritating <laughs> and scary. I'm used to them attacking me. I don't know why they're not. It could just be something with... Oh, by the way, let's eat that burrito. Wow, that burrito did more than it looked like it said it did. I saw three. Maybe the saturation on that thing is insanely high. Well, that's good to know. Very good. Oh, we should have put that on a sandwich. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because if you get too high of a saturation, I don't think it goes over the amount that is on your current bar so I think you get to a point where it just kind of you know it doesn't really matter so yeah 
might not be really worth doing. Just eating itself. All right, so there we go. We got ourselves our brick. We got ourselves our nether brick. We got plenty of this. Let's go ahead and make up a blast furnace. So assuming we'll just need another 27 of these. Now we can go ahead and craft up another set to kind of make this go a little bit faster. But I think for now, let's just start with one. I think they did increase the speed of this. This used to be a lot slower. I do believe it is a little bit faster now. So uh, I do need to clean this room up, by the way. We need to start making this room look good, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not really looking spectacular, but we definitely should be doing a little bit of TLC in here to just kind of make things look and feel a little bit better. So uh, I'm putting this one a little bit further back because we have a little water source here. So I don't, we don't disturb that too much. And we can always move this if need be. So what we'll need to use this guy for is we're going to take some of this coal coke that we're going to be getting from our coke oven, which we should have probably used some coal so we could have got some a little bit faster. But we're going to be using that in respect with some iron, which we have a good amount of. I'm going to go ahead and just grab, let's say 16. We'll start off with 16 for the moment and just kind of see how that goes. Now, we do have a way, and I think a myth, I don't actually, I don't think we can automate this, which is why there's an improved one. So we'll put some blocks of iron. You can actually put uh, regular iron in here as well. You don't have to use blocks of iron. Uh, I'm not really sure. Which way is this going? Is it going up or down? I think it's going up. The little orange flame. I think it's going up, but it's relatively slow. I think as far as things that you would probably want more of, you might want more of these at the moment. not entirely sure. I don't remember. <laughs> I, or at least in this version. I know in the older versions, I usually just uh, used to craft like two of these and two of those and then kind of call it a day until I got the uh, the later version. Uh, let's see. What else can we do in the time being? Why is the alloy kiln last? Like that's... Like, I go through all of this. Why is the alloy kiln like... I'm just curious. Like, I did kind of... I skipped a lot. I mean, because in theory, you can craft this right at the start. That is not... Oh, what is up with my game? It's either my game or my computer. I think it's my computer. Getting some uh, real steep lag spikes here and there after a while. I'm assuming it's my computer... I really, really need a... I'm, I'm really wanting to get a new computer and a second PC as well uh, for helping rendering and uh, editing and all that stuff to allow me to continue recording and stuff while I'm editing and rendering out a video to upload and all of that good stuff. Also to help with streaming and such. So I just can't unfortunately do that at the moment. I could, but... I would rather wait until we have access to things like that 3080 and, uh, you know, you, you know what I mean. The new graphics cards, the new, the new, um, processors and all that stuff. So I would like that, but unfortunately I'm going to have to wait, but all right, so let's move on. So we got those things going. I need some steel, maybe not necessarily for what I want, but let's go ahead and check out generator. So we do have industrial four going. It is a really cool mod. We might get into that. I'm not entirely sure. I wasn't really a big fan of how it went in Val, uh, Val, uh, Valhalla, Valhalla, uh, because of the initial plastic production. Uh, there is also the honey generator, which I kind of want to craft this real fast because I just want to see exactly what it does. I'm not entirely sure. But I would, I would literally like to just kind of poke around with it real quick and just see if this actually produces. Because if anything, we might jump... Why did I just make a... <laughs> we might jump into checking out some bees, which I have been asked to do so. So... I wouldn't mind looking at this new bee mod and seeing what productive bees is all about. <laughs> I think it would be pretty interesting. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, why did I come up here? For lava, of course. But yeah, I think the uh, that B mod looks quite 
interesting. I wouldn't mind checking it out. So what are we missing? What? Wait, hold on a second. That's a bucket of honey, not lava. That looks very close to lava, doesn't it? Oh, I can't even do that until I get honey. Actually, let me take a look real quick. Let's go back. Click here to show quests. Buzz Buzz, a bee cage. To get started on our quest for diamond bees. Okay. Sold. We first need a way to move bees around. You will need to get some vanilla bees to start producing honey and honeycombs. So we need to make a bee cage. Okay, well this is not helpful. <laughs> so what you're telling me is I need to go around looking for bees, taking their honey? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think the whole campfire underneath it produces some kind of smoke and supposed to calm them down? Is there, like... I know in uh, forestry there used to be, like, a smoker. And that would actually help calm them down a little bit as well. Let's see, sticks. I think I need logs. And I think any of those work. And I think a piece of coal. And then you can make a campfire, right? Ooh... Auric, cryptic, soul. Very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. I'll have to check that out. I don't remember seeing any bees around, but let's just go ahead and take a quick peek in this little uh, forest thing we got going on here. Okay. Just shoot a guy in the back. I see how it is. Wasn't even looking at you. I don't remember seeing any in this particular area. I do know that there have been some bees that I've seen that are just like random and different since we started. Uh, I don't know if it needs a vanilla one or if we need one of the other ones. I don't know if the other ones actually produce any sort of honey, which is I'm assuming what we're wanting here. But this... You know, this ability to kind of move around a little bit faster definitely, definitely helps. The slow fall is actually very useful as well because it kind of allows us to jump up and kind of scale through things a little bit quicker. I'm not really seeing anything close, so I'm probably going to have to do some uh, looking and exploring off camera kind of thing, but... I would like to be able to find one. Oh, it's just sitting out here. Thank you. Oh, that's so useful. Is that our second one? I don't remember. I think it is. I think we found another one, which is glorious. We'll be able to uh, move around a little bit faster. So I could set one up at the top of the base, one down at the bottom, so we can get down into the mines a little bit faster. Or I could just... Set it across the world if I wanted to. It really does not matter. The uh, possibilities are quite endless. Like the fact that I can't find any bees. It's going to be a very endless journey, it seems. So what I'm doing at the moment is um, I'm kind of looking at the mini-map. And I'm also kind of just looking for movement. Because generally things in Minecraft are pretty still and stagnant. It's kind of like a, it's a good skill for hunting. It's a good thing to know. It's kind of like things just don't really move. Oh, is this where? Oh, hello. What the heck is this? Netherwood sap. Why is there just wither roses chilling in here? Crimson ingot. Magnet 2. I don't know what a nether banana is, nor do I know what a netherwood sapling is. I don't think I have any crying obsidian yet. By the way, that's new in Minecraft, and that's pretty uh, interesting. So all the little red dots are basically items on the ground. Uh, on the mini-map. So they're like uh, little entities, just like uh, saplings, sticks... You know, which is kind of like items on the ground. And then the yellows are actually mobs and such. So either good mobs or bad mobs. And I think we can change that in this particular mod. 
And it would maybe make things a little bit easier. Entity radar. Players. Names. Icon. Always confirm. Okay, so it shows bad mobs. Entity radar. Hostile mobs. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. I didn't, I wasn't even looking at that one. So then it'll kind of help out trying to find some bees, if anything. If you need some help trying to find some bees or something. Like I said, I would like to try to find it with you guys real quick so we can not have to worry about things that much. But we may unfortunately not be able to find any. And yes, I am going over the water. Because we're going to zoom right on out of this thing here in a second. Hey, look at the... Oh, that looks kind of cool just sitting up there, to be honest with you. That looks kind of cool. I actually like that. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn or anything, but... It does look pretty interesting. Will not lie. And it definitely stands out from other things. So, yeah. As far as finding a bee is concerned, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it right now. Really was not aware that we were going to... Oh, God. Stupid bushes. and Why do we ever have to have bushes hurt in Minecraft? I don't understand that. Anyways, I think... I don't know if the bees actually show up like the, the other ones. So like some entities we see like these yellow yellow dots over here. These are the ducks. So they're modded entities. Um, they're not going to show up specifically. So I'm wondering if we can change that. But anyways, let's just head on back for now. And we'll check some uh, the other stuff we're going to work on real quick. Yeah, I was really kind of hoping to see if we could find that. I would, I would have liked to check that out, but I have a backup plan nonetheless. So let's go ahead and check in here. This is still going. Holy crap. And the book wants how much? Oh, it just wants treated wood planks. So I only need a few for that. Okay, that's not a bad thing. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that in there. And we got a lot of cool stuff out of it as well, which is... Interesting. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this in case we have items that we can put away. Um, holy crap. I've got so much junk on here right now. Just need to throw some things away. Am I full on cobblestone? Okay. Guess I wasn't. Thought I clicked on that. Not a problem. All right, we'll put the Wither Rose in there as well. Uh, oh, I did pick up Crying Obsidian. All right, good to know. All right, so that necessarily was not going to work. That's a little bit of a bust. I might end up cutting that out. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, probably better to leave it in so you guys know some of the other little cool things uh, with the mini-map and stuff. Um, nonetheless, all right, let's move on. Now, generator, let's see. So... There's a couple other forms of power generation. I did look at this. I'm not sure how this thing actually works yet, and I wouldn't mind checking it out at some point, but let's go with something like this guy. Let's go with the uh, thermal electric generator for now. So we are going to need some steel. Um, that might take a little bit. Good lord. Well, we also have the dynamo. We could make a water wheel, I suppose. I would like to make this because it's a nice constant source of power. The other constant sources of power are uh, the water wheel and the windmill. And I always seem to make those, but I don't really seemingly make the windmill as much. But I will need a bunch of creosote to do so. I mean, you need it for the water wheel as well. Um, there is solar power in this also, but we do need to get a little bit of power generation going at least. So let's go ahead and take a look at maybe making a dynamo. Things how we don't have a whole lot of actual steel production yet, but we'll move up and along through a little bit. There's not a whole ton of methods of making actual power in this that I can see at the moment. Engineer's cutters. Wait, does that actually require... Please tell me that doesn't actually require that. Okay. 
I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure this is a quest as well that we're gonna need to do. Is this a reward bag? Uh, oh, good lord. You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? It's actually gonna make me do it. All right, well. Might as well get ourselves started, huh? All right, so we will need some copper. We're gonna need copper plates as well. I don't really have copper? How have I not found copper? Oh. I guess I processed it up already. Not sure. All right, let's not go too crazy with this. So uh, we're going to quickly make up those into plates. We're going to quickly make those up into copper wire. And from there, we're going to take this copper wire. And we're going to put it in the center with a stick. And that will get us that. Now, to net this next part, we will need to put that around our piece of iron. I'll give us a copper coil block, a few pieces of iron, and a little bit of redstone later. And we have ourselves a very easy and quick down and dirty dynamo. Now, this thing already has that and that. LV. We will need to transfer the power somehow, so we do need to make some more of this crap. Dang it. <laughs> I really didn't want to use all of my copper. I didn't know there was going to take so much. Uh, so we got the LV connector, and we will need some relays as well. Thankfully, this won't use as many. And unfortunately, we will need a few more of these wonderful plates turning these into copper wires. Now, eventually, there is a machine that will give us, I think, two per plate or more. And I thought this actually used to give more, but I guess for now, that's just going to have to do. So there's four of those. And maybe, I don't know, we'll get lucky in this reward bag and maybe it'll give us more. All right. Not quite. How about... All right. Well done. Well, we tried. Well, we tried. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Is this the only one I've actually gotten? Isn't this supposed to be like a really good one? Here sometimes takes less than energy cancels. Brittle. Malleable. So it's kind of like uh, unbreaking? Increases harvest speed or decreases range damage? Didn't we need this for something? So they changed up recipes on a few things, or are they integrated with some of the mods? I thought we needed this for something. I think we did. Crimson Steel. Hmm. I don't remember off the top of my head. Dang it, stupid. I love that thing to death, but gosh dang it, is that annoying? <laughs> um. Oh, I can just drink this whenever? Sweet. Wait, would that? Did just give me? Oh, oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Is that what happens when you actually drink that in real life? <laughs> Good to know. All right, so we got ourselves a dynamo. We need to go over and check out our. Hopefully, that's done. Let's find out. There we go. Block of coal coat and byproduct being creosote. So the creosote is what we actually need. The coal coke is what we need to put in here to allow this to kind of work through and start making us up what we need. But we need this for making ourselves up a little bit of treated wood. So with that being said, let's go ahead and grab a bucket's worth. We'll put this in here like so. And there's our first bucket. Now, unfortunately, this method of crafting is a little obnoxious, if you haven't noticed. And I think we have enough to complete the quest. So we're going to try to do that real fast and just be a little completioner here. Even though I'm not, I'm not normally one that likes to jump in and do quest books very much. It's just not... I like to kind of play the game how I want to play it, but... Which is why I go a little bit everywhere when I do play these. Just because I kind of know, you know, the way around and stuff. So there we go. We got treated wood. We get some more treated wood and a reward bag. Here we got our blast brick. Your greater reward bag. And then 
productive byproduct. Interesting. Okay. So there is also the jerry can, which will very much help out in making creosote. I think it even says that in here. A portable liquid storage item can hold up to 10 buckets of any liquid and can be placed into those, uh, place those into the world with a right click. However, uh, it cannot pick up liquid from the world. It must be taken from inventory such as directly from a Coke oven or a fluid barrel. And then you can utilize this to actually craft yourself your creosote uh, a lot faster. So it'll be a lot better in that sense. So there we go. We got ourselves some treated wood. We got ourselves a dynamo. Let's see if we can set this bad boy up. Now, unfortunately, we don't really have a great place to do it. And I want to do this relatively quick. So if you guys have never seen this before, you will get to utilize and see exactly how this is going to be done. So we're just going to go ahead and do some planks here real quick. And right about in there seems like a good spot for the moment. We're going to go and throw down our dynamo like this. We're going to aim towards the back of the block and do that. Do a little jump, please. So the way it places correctly. If not, I think you can rotate it with the engineer's hammer. This guy right here. And now we need to make ourselves up a windmill. And to do that, I don't quite remember the recipe. But it looks like we need eight of those, which requires uh, a little bit more of those. Are we going to have enough? Oh, thank the heavens. All right, so there we go. There's eight. Now, there's a way to improve this as well, and that will require some of the hemp that we have been grabbing, and I have no idea where I put it. Or even... Oh, there it is. Um, I think we're actually going to go ahead and try to do that. So it looks like just some sticks and that around. So let's just go ahead and grab, like, four of those, four stacks. And we'll split these up into half stacks around. And there's our tough fabric. And then with tough fabric, we need to convert this into windmill cells. So we can do up to five at the moment, it seems. And yet, I believe we need, I think this thing is eight. So I think we just need a few more. It does take a decent amount of hemp, but it will increase your power generation from that. So a little right click on there. Advancement made. And as you can see, it'll start spinning up like that. We'll take our windmill cells. We're going to right click it on there. There's one. So you can see the little difference there. And I think it looks a lot neater and cooler and everything. And as you can see, as I'm putting them on there, this thing is actually speeding up a little bit. Uh, as far as this thing showing power and generating, it doesn't seem to be showing correctly on one probe in the top left. But that's okay. That is all right. Now, a little method of storing power so we're going to do a little bonus time real quick uh, we want to make ourselves a capacitor now there's three different forms you can go with the LV you can go with an MV or an HV now if you have access to steel I would definitely recommend just going straight for this uh, but if you don't have steel yet which we don't um, probably going to be better to just go and go and make a uh, MV capacitor. So that looks relatively simple and something that we can do at the moment. So we just need to make a little bit of electrum. Now, thankfully, since we do have an alloy kiln, we can go ahead and make a little bit of that electrum, which I'm not sure. I don't think we... Oh, we already had copper sheets. I wonder, can I use... The, wait a minute. There's blaze rods right there. Son of a bitch. I knew if I... Hmm. I was going to say Bisquick, by the way, because um, pancakes are good and kind. See, I knew it. I could have used those. God dang it. All right, there we go. So let's just go and throw those in there. We'll get that ready, and we're going to make an MV capacitor. Maybe this will actually, uh, not that one, this one. Maybe that one will actually update for us and show us the uh, correct power uh, that is being produced. What did we want the blaze rods for? Wasn't there something I wanted blaze rods for last episode? I don't remember. I don't remember. Was it something with Ars Nouveau? All right, so we do need a little bit of lead. I'm just gonna throw lead in here. I don't really care if it's doubled or not. It's just a piece of lead. <laughs> so, not a big deal. I know some people, it probably hurts them. They're like, oh, my life, my production. You're not efficient. Well, you don't need to be. There's a whole world of resources and all the time in the world. So there you go. <laughs> not necessary. So, no, or not necessarily, but. All right. So I believe these sides are sides that we can actually get off of. Now, if you place down your capacitor, 
Uh, I don't see it in the top left, so we might need to make a tool for this, but we can use the engi uh, engineer's hammer. And if we right click a side, you can see blue, orange, and then nothing. But if we shift and right click, they'll do the opposite side, but we want this to be blue. So orange is gonna be an output, blue is gonna be our input. Now if we place this down, it should remember the side and we should be getting power into our capacitor now. Unfortunately, we don't really have a way of telling, so we'll probably have to make a voltmeter, which is not something I necessarily wanna do right now. Um, we're just gonna have to take our word for it. You know what I mean? So. Uh, just because this is not seemingly working very well, but that's gonna have to do it for today guys We've got two windmills different types going up. Uh, we will need to get a little bit more hemp I think that is ready to go down there. So I'm probably gonna go harvest that up I'll probably just go and get the uh, Next bit made real fast as well. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Maybe you learned something from it Maybe you didn't and you just wanted to listen and play along Hopefully you guys did enjoy the, uh, the episode. So thank you guys so much for hanging around. Maybe we'll catch you guys back in the next episode. Uh, if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And we'll see you guys back in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.